Bull be this side. You get tired of watching TV. It's boring. Yeah, can't live your life watching TV. You gotta all get right, your yeah, ass up and go hustle. Time. Yeah. Yeah, but that ain't hustling. You got all this yeah. life to live and all this money you can make. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? All this money, everybody's all around you. You sitting there broke. Why? Yeah, so you can take walks to the levee? Come on, man. Yeah, but damn, I don't have no, I ain't got no It don't make a damn. damn. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. You can don't find matter. money. You live in the city. Look at this. You got people sitting here. Look how close they are. Look how close these houses are. There's people all around. Right. I lived in, I lived, when I first moved here, I didn't, I didn't, I had a van, van that sat there for six months and I never even moved it. I just, I, there's work all around me. Why would I need a, why would I need a, a vehicle? You know? But I worked all, oh yeah, I worked all around me. It's, there's work all around you. You don't need a car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All you need yeah, to be able to do is haul you. A lawnmower. has got man. wheels. Yeah. Then you can turn that lawnmower into something you push down the street that, that you know, yeah. I'll give you a lawnmower. I'll let you, I'll, I'll, I'll rent you a lawnmower. Yeah, anytime you get your yard, I'll rent you the mower for cheap. I just want to make sure that, you know, that nothing happens to it. I don't want you to sell it or anything like that because you get discouraged. But if you want to do some shit like that, you just go help. I don't mind, um, I got an extra mower. And as soon as you can show me, you can get your little hustle going there. Or I can just help you, whatever. But point is, you're gonna make more money working for yourself, but I don't yeah. mind making money off yeah, of you. I'll body. make money off of you too, I don't mind. You find them on the side of the road all the time. Really? If you, really? All you gotta yeah. do is know that you're gonna find a lawnmower on the side of the road. And you don't allow them smoking in here, huh? Yeah, just wait till we get out, man. I'm There's no I'm sense. I'm 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 hold on. There's I'm no good. sense in smoking in a vehicle. You. I wanna respect you. Yeah, man. You say you don't smoke and I don't smoke. Yeah. I respect you. Smell I my new truck. You. Yeah, you got your yeah. truck, huh? Hey, smell, the smell that new truck smell. I that's thought this that's is that's that's not the same one you had last time. I don't know. I yeah, it that, probably man. is. I don't know. I think it is the same. I've had this truck for a year. Doing good, man. But, you know why I do good? I get up and go get, get, get my man. ass up every morning. You don't make shit what you do. You just got to do something. Get up. I, I don't work that hard. I don't even work that hard. I don't, I'm, shit, I'm gonna work five hours a day, maybe, most days. Is that all? Five I don't even barely, I don't even work that hard, dude. You work long hours, but that house we had to five hours a day. Well, you we got that right there. Yeah, you know, you get those hours. days, but you see, my average we're day, right. my average day is, I'm you know, yeah. between five and eight hours. I don't even work that hard. It ain't that hard to get up there. You just gotta watch your money, how you spend it, and then you know that if you invest your money in yourself, you invest your money to make more money. So if you can go buy a tool, then know that that $100 is gonna make you $500 or more, no. then, then that's an investment. That's You've an now investment. invested that's in it. yourself. That's it. And, then, and, and that's all. First, you can, you know what I'm saying? And then now you got a lawnmower. So now, what do you do? You go look for grass. Look for grass. Go, go knocking look on up, leaving notes and knocking on doors. Hey, can I cut your grass for $25? And then go, that's I, a steady I, I, hustle. I, I, They're gonna call you back is, uh, every two weeks. That money's gonna be there waiting on you. That's con that's steady income. It's just that easy. Money is everywhere around you. Yeah. yeah, and then you'll get so picky to where you'll be like, oh, I'm only taking, I can't even do any more yards. That's all I can do. Sorry. I used to work for Captain John. He delivered oysters, man, but he, he retired. He, 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 he might retire. I used to go help him deliver oysters at the restaurant the hotel. I worked for the man 13 years, cash money. 13 years, cash money. I used to shuck oysters so I used to deliver. I first moved to this neighborhood. This used to be Bell Bell at school. Middle remember, when it, remember 15 years ago when it was all falling apart? I was up on that roof by myself, yeah, right. putting the decking on, keeping it from falling any further in and apart. Yeah, I did the maintenance, jacked up the big, I jacked up the big seals, the big uh, 14 by 14, 16 by 16 seals yeah, under, yeah. underneath there, keep it from falling in. And yeah, for one year until that building sold, I did the uh, keeping it from leaking and um, yeah, we put uh, roofing overlayment, underlayment, uh, 
all over, you know, I put, say we put, um, I had someone holding the rope, uh, wrapped around the raptor up there, holding the rope, holding me as I dangled off the side. And I think I charged like $20 an hour, 15 years ago to do that. Crazy, crazy. Uh, that was stupid. I should have charged way more, Damn, but I need, I need the favor. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to go back. I left my medicine at home. I Mother. need to drink my medicine. I need my medicine. When? When yeah, do you need your medicine? I, I need to get it. Damn it, man. I'm not wrong with my diabetes. I forgot to bring it with me. Man, I'm going, I'm going on your watch right now. Now I'm on your clock. So what who so what happens to your dad? No, my dad did fifty years in Angola. My mama raised seven kids, we put out a fall. My dad used to abuse me when I was young. When, we when did, how old were you whenever he went to Angola? I was about about seven or eight. He used to be years, about 30 years in. Was he a drunk or a drug addict? He was a drug addict. He used to rob people. Yeah. He used to rob stores. He used to arrow at me. He used to beat me a lot, man. He knocked all the sense out. Damn. He used to beat whoop me a lot. I had trouble concentrating in school. I was talking about with ADD, attention deficit disorder. Uh, what what was it like after your dad left? Was it, it was, he abused was your mom? Daughter, he abused the whole. Mama. But still, I mean, you was get, was, was he also uh, abusive to your mother? Did I listen to my mother? Did you was he abusive to your mother? Yeah, I used to see him beat my mom and I, man, yeah. when I was a kid. So I should have said verbally and physically. Yeah, he beat me. He used to beat me. With what? Did he ever you pick up when things he and beat you with, with it? A fence, yeah. I'm the oldest son. Every time the young ones did something wrong, he he he, he took it out on me. Dang. They peed in the bed. I got the ass whooped for. Dang. Abusive. I had trouble concentrating in school. I had imagine behavior problems. So, although, um, so then after, um, you're. Dad went to prison and your mother raised you all by herself? Yeah, she still had me got out. Was it more of a back. peaceful home? Whenever, was it obviously? I was just. Obviously, it was more peace, peaceful, it was, though. It was, yeah, Even though I if you didn't have a father, but you would my, rather. My family was really dysfunctional, man. Right. So I just asked you. dysfunctional. I wonder if you would. Be, do you think that, you know, you feel like you got cheated without. Because you was raised without a dad, but kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Kind of in a way. But do you think that, that if he would have been there, that that it would have been better? Well, I think if he was one so abusive, I probably would have turned out another way. But yeah. he used to whoop me a lot, man. And, you know, call it damaged me. Damaged me mentally. I believe it. I believe it. It put me in a special education. I was slow to learn. Yeah. I had ADD. I don't know how you figure that out. Yeah, I had ADD. Yeah. I used to work at restaurants. I used to chuck all these dish water. Then I became an oyster shucker. I worked with Captain John for 13 years. Cash money. I know the shuck oysters real good. Yeah. I was an oyster shucker. That's your... Call me shucker calm. That's, is that your... Is that your... Um, your... Uh, say... Your... If if you were skilled at anything the most... But would you say that would be your... Your main skill would yeah. be oyster well, yeah. sucking. Yeah, yeah. You're the oyster main sucking thing. man. That's what I was real good at. It. Yeah, I was pretty good at it. Man. Yeah. How long did you do that for? About over thirty something years. Uh, you better get work. I worked at restaurant. I worked with Captain John for thirteen years. Got gotcha. you. Let's work and talk at the same time. Come on. Let's let's multitask here. Ain't no sense in yeah. staring at each other. We can move and all that. But dang man, I I hate I hate to just. That sucks that there's, you know, um, 
That's what people still now that go that goes through that that goes through that stuff, man. The uh, abusive, uh, yeah, you know. I was mentally challenged. Parents and. Yeah, I'm so scared they give me this because if y'all was mentally challenged, mentally ain't bad. Full line. Yeah. Dang, man. Go help him, Sam, or just we? Yeah, let's go back up here. I'm saying, look, all this, look, look at this big old thing of, see this big old thing of, um, is it Sam Rocks? Is it, you get a big old thing of Sam Rocks when we get to, ow! Oh, no, Sam, watch it, Sam, you gonna get hurt. Uh, I ain't gonna get hurt, I thought a bee got on me, but I guess it didn't. <laughs> look, there's a big old root ball in there of those, but it ain't gonna come up, but, um, dang, dude, um, what can we do now? You want me to help him out? Yeah, let's get our little weed eater and we'll clean this up. So you're diabetic? Yeah, I got a tooth different. I'm getting dizzy. My knee's starting to get weak. You sure you're going to be all right? Yeah, but I'm going to go get some rest, soak in the tub, come back and be stretched in the morning. Yeah. But a nice, it's a nice, cool day to work. We ain't got much long. We're gonna take off for the day. We're gonna let you go for the day. Doing pretty good. Pulled up all this grass for me by the roots. We, not a bad job. At least when we weed this down, it'll at least be slower to grow back. We thinned it out a lot. We spent a couple, couple of hours on just kind of pulling about the roots so we don't have to spray a bunch of chemical you know but uh we're gonna come back through here and um weed eat and everything and knock it down to the brick and make it real pretty and blow it off but Irvin did a great job uh pulling those by the roots for me Here's what we need to do, Irvin. We need to get all these vines that's growing up in this bush, and we need to get them out of the bush, okay? The vines? Yep, we gotta get the vines out of the bush so the bush can, so, you know, so so the camellia tree, so we can see it. And so, yeah, it's gonna be, look, look, you gotta start right here at the bottom. You're gonna come in right here in the middle, and you're just gonna, but see the tops, see what I'm saying? Now look, yeah. see the tops are automatically gonna follow. If you're pulling this, right. you're pulling okay, against the right. root. Okay. Do you see I, what I'm saying? That's like tying a rope right there yeah. saying, oh, it's tough. You need to get down here in the bottom and start pulling this out. And then you pull the top okay. out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Look, there's camellias all up inside there, look. They're growing right there. Oh, they must have fell in there. They didn't know. Oh, Dang, yeah. there ain't no way that's growing inside there. There's a couple of that. Flowers fell in there. Yep, so I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's cut it off at the bottom right here, around this bottom, and then we can try to pull. Oh my, what a cut is that? So if it was a rope, like I said, if we cut the rope at the bottom, it should pull up easier. So whenever you got a little problem, you, go you gotta try to think of a, you gotta think of the solution. Now that wouldn't be the solution. Now let's no. think of the solution and let's think about the problem. The problem is when we pull here, we're pulling the bottom of the vine, but the bottom of the vine is holding it down. So what we need to do is cut the bottom, bottom of the vine. But we don't want to cut the camellia tree. Right. So we just want to get underneath here. Look, that's what we want to cut. Yes, sir. We're going to cut. Yeah, we need something better. Yep, yep, yep. Just get all that right there. All that all the way up, up around that tree. Oh, Lee's giving that how old are you, Irvin? How old are you? I'm 60. I'll be 60. Now I'm 59 now. You I'm not in my twins and thirds no more, man. I used to be able to go 12, 14 hours. I used to run behind garbage trucks too. 
I was in my 20s and 30s then. Huh. I mean, my, my, I'll be 60 in August. 60 in August? Yeah, my body changed, man. You got to exercise. Can, yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I do walking. I keep some walking them on, but walking. I can't run like I used to. My knees getting bad. Hey. I go see my doctor and he's going to tell me these are knee pads. My knees getting bad. You grew up in New Orleans? Huh? You grew up here in New Orleans? I grew up in a Fisher House and Project in Algiers. Huh. I went to Barman's in middle school. I went yeah. to Landry too. I grew up in the Project. Mom raised seven kids in the Project. Seven, 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 seven kids. kids. Three boys and four girls and three boys. I'm the oldest son. How many bedrooms did y'all own the house? Y'all rented, y'all jump around? How was your living? Did you say it again? I said, <clears throat> How was your childhood? Would y'all jump? How was it? You all kind of moved around a lot? Y'all was in one house? We how moved, how we moved was y'all big bedroom? Texas, Baton Rouge, we came back. Bed. We moved to Texas and Baton Rouge when we didn't like it, we came back. Yeah. But we had a dysfunctional family, man. Yeah. We didn't, you know. Yeah, I just, uh, that's a, Big family, uh, family, how many, how many, y'all had to share, the boys had a room, the girls a had a room. room. Man, we had a full bedroom, we had a full bedroom. Yeah. On public housing. Yeah. Yeah, full bedroom. So, uh, so your mama, she, she worked a lot, or how did y'all, how did, mama was, she had uh, she My mama worked a few jobs, but she was both in there on welfare. Yeah. My mama dropped out the night three, my daddy, Got his GED in Scotland. He went to Scotland, old Paris, and then they go. He used to beat my mom a lot. He used to watch him beat her out, man. I saw blood. That damaged me, man. I had tried, he used to whoop me a lot. That damaged me. They see, I had ADD, attention deficit disorder, and uh, I had behavior problems, man. They put me on special education. They say I was slow learn. They say I'm mentally challenged it, mentally impaired. That's where I get disability from. Huh. I haven't worked in much. I ain't worked in a long time. That disability that you get, you say, after you pay your, what, what bill I gotta pay a rent and light bill. Rent and light bill. And I buy groceries, I, buy, I spend cash money, I don't get food stamps. Yeah. They wanna give me $12, I need, I walked out, $12, man. I spend cash money on food. So, time I though, do all that, I'm, I'm, I don't have nothing now. Right. So you have to go out and find little hustles and ways yeah, to make money. Every you now and then I find little money, hustles. huh? Right. Every now and then I find the I'm glad you came by. I wouldn't have had this. I yeah. need to stop giving me some singers. I got a little food at my house. I'm gonna bring some lunch tomorrow. I got some plates over here too. Yeah. I try yeah, to see if I can get out in a bit and maybe um and try to drop you off a plate. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Sir. Potato pet salad. Yeah, and you, some can, you can drive me up by the store. I'm gonna walk the rest of the week. I can right. walk from there. I don't want to hold you up. See that blue and white storm going in there. So I guess we'll uh, try to find something to put you on tomorrow. All right. You going to call me tomorrow before you come? You yeah. get me out right here. Yeah. I'm going to walk from there. All right, Sam. I'll see you there. All right.